Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up OBS with the best render settings. And later on, I'm probably going to make a tutorial on both Sony Vegas and as well as Adobe Premiere Pro and their best settings for basically rendering out your video. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. So I have a scene called Tutorial, and I'm going to go ahead and add a source, which is going to be a game capture. And I'll lock to capture a specific window as well as the game and make it match the title. That way it doesn't pull anything else up. So as you can see there, I have Fortnite basically in the background that we're going to use for this tutorial. And from here, once you get your scenes and sources set up, you're going to go over down to settings. And from here, you can actually change the theme of OBS. I think by default, it's white. Um, to make it a little bit easier on the eyes, I usually use the dark theme or there's different themes here that's been recently added. And I just want to kind of tell you guys about that because I actually like the dark theme a lot, but it has nothing really to do with the video. So if we go over to output, this is where you want to start. And yours is probably going to be set to simple on the output mode. Just click on it, change it to advanced. And we're going to ignore the streaming tab and the replay buffer tab and we're only going to focus on the recording and audio so under recording yours probably doesn't look like this as well it might look a little bit something like this but i'm just going to show you guys my settings so for the top set that to standard recording path is where you want to save your video so i have mine in my d drive videos and recordings because i like to keep it a little bit organized and from here you can change the recording format to i like to use mp4 um, because it's compatible with both adobe premiere pro and sony vegas i um, also like the ts recording format but usually to get it to register in sony vegas or premiere pro you usually have to use vlc player and convert it to mp4 and basically the why I like TS so much is because, as you can see here, recording saved to MP4 slash MOV would be unrecoverable if the file cannot be finalized. So basically, if your computer loses power, um, freezes up, turns off, and your recording basically stops, it's not going to save it at all. Um, so you're basically going to lose all that footage. If you was to use something like um, TS, then you can actually record and if you're say your recording messes up something stops or your PC loses power or something then you're actually going to keep that footage it's just that you have to convert it afterward and it actually does hurt the um, visual quality of it just a little bit so recording format I just keep that at mp4 audio track this is going to depend on if you want to separate your audio tracks so if you have it all on one audio track, you're going to have your headphones and your microphone on one audio track. So if you're recording and you don't notice till afterward in the recording that your microphone might not be loud enough compared to your game, then you're kind of screwed because you can't really tweak just the game audio. So what you need to do there is set up two different audio tracks, one for your headphones and one for your microphone. That way if one is too loud or needs to be tweaked, then you can basically um, edit that in Sony Vegas or Premiere Pro or any other video editing software that supports multiple audio tracks and kind of just adjust the volume um, to how you need it. So most people's going to use like two or three audio tracks. I only use one because I use a mixer. And for an encoder, um, I'm going to be using the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 codec. Um, you can use the new one if you have it. If not, H.264 is fine. And from down here, we're going to change the rate control from CBR to CQP. And basically, you want to stay around the 15 to 20 mark level. Um, this is going to determine how much bit rate needs to go into it um, at any given time. And basically, the higher this value is, like towards 20, the worse your video quality is going to be. But your storage of the video is going to be smaller the higher you go up. So 15 looks really, really good, but the file size is going to be kind of big. Um, if you go to like 17, the quality is still pretty good and the size is going to be still a little bit kind of much, but 
it's going to be way less of a file size than 15 and basically 18 is going to be the sweet spot in my opinion between uh, video storage and quality so basically if you can if you have the hard drive storage for it use 15 if not then you can go up as much as you need i wouldn't go really past 20 or it starts looking a little bit bad so i keep mine on 15 and for the keyframe interval in seconds i set that to two preset for max quality and profile for high and i like to enable the psycho visual tuning because it'll actually optimize your bitrate for better uh, video quality especially when you have high movement in games like shooters or let's say like a first person um, story game or anything like that something that might have a lot of movement in it then that helps and your B frames is going to be set to 2 and if you use the old H.264 codec as you can see the only thing you're missing is the psycho tuning visual or psycho visual tuning it's basically the same settings overall um, if you get a message down here saying that the encoders overloaded you might want to lower this preset a little bit to maybe quality or performance um, that basically just means that your card cannot keep up with the bitrate next thing we're going to look at is audio so how i was talking about two tracks um, audio bitrate i would go anywhere from 192 to 320 320 is going to sound the best especially if you have a good microphone but of course the higher you go up the bigger the file size which it's not really that much bigger of a file size maybe a few megabytes so honestly i recommend 320 i would not go below 192 or you start getting audio interfact uh, artifacts and you can name these tracks so for instance you can name one microphone and one headphones that way you don't get confused later on and i'll show you why audio um, basically all this is going to be disabled so we're looking at desktop audio device down to mic slash aux audio device 4 is what we're looking at everything else can be left alone set your desktop audio audio device to your headphones and your mic auxiliary audio device to your microphone and you can go ahead and hit apply and if you go to video base canvas resolution that you want to set up is going to be the resolution of your monitor so just click this little drop down arrow and mine is 2560 by 1440 so that's 1440p 1920 by 1080 is 1080p and 720p so forth um, just keep the base canvas resolution the resolution of your monitor and for output scale resolution this is what you want to record at and i don't really recommend scaling down your video because it hurts the quality um, i recommend basically recording in the same resolution as your monitor and then later on say if you didn't want a 1440p video on youtube you can actually um, scale it down in like sony vegas or adobe premiere later on so i like to just make the recording look as good as possible because the youtube encoder pretty much wrecks the video quality so the, the basically anything you can do to make it look good before going on youtube would definitely help your video quality so I like to have the base and output resolution the same and down, downscale filter, um, put that to 32 samples if you are going to downscale, but if these two are the same, you don't have to worry about this. I like to set this to common FPS values and you can usually record at 30 or 60. It's pretty self-explanatory and hotkeys, you can set up recording hotkeys. Um, you can set up push to talk or push to mute for your microphone if you want to do that. And in the and in the advanced tab, you basically have this set up. And I usually don't touch anything in here because it doesn't really matter. So we'll hit OK. And if you want to just go ahead, we'll start recording. And let's go over, let's say, to Playground. And my game's probably going to lag just a little bit because I am recording from Streamlabs OBS, my screen right now. And then OBS is capturing something else. That's like double the load right now. So it is probably going to look just a little bit laggy on your side. Yep, so it's, it's quite laggy on my side, I'm not going to lie. And it's capping me at like 60 FPS. 
um, but I'm just going to kind of show you guys like visual quality looks pretty good. And if we just go to like Pleasant Park, I'll show you guys. So it is a little bit laggy where my graphics car is basically just getting wrecked right now. But if we just kind of go into here, as you can see, everything looks pretty good, not pixelated at all. Depending on how bad YouTube screws up the quality. And boom, we landed. So I'll just go ahead and Alt F4 out of that. And if we come back over here, we can stop the recording. And I'll show you my videos, recordings. And I believe it's going to be this one right here. Recording. Um, as you can see there, it wasn't that long of a video at 1440p. It was like a minute long. And at the 15 uh, Q or CQK, however you say that. Basically... CQP, my bad. So at 15, at 1440p, as you can see there, the file size is pretty big. That's like I was saying, you might need to kind of lower this or actually make it higher. A good spot, it's usually like 17 or 18. But if we take a look at this video, I mean, it, it basically looks like you're actually playing the game, like in game. So it's pretty much like a lossless quality. But it does come with the big file size and basically the bet the better you can make your video look before you put it on youtube the less that youtube's gonna make it look worse so like this literally the recording settings makes it look like i'm actually playing in game it's pretty pretty much lossless codec so that's pretty cool and that's basically what it's going to look like so give those settings a try let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you have any questions, uh, just pretty much put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. Again, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Peace.